Now, the rest of the story. Well, I've had a absence here the last few well, days I normally post because there hasn't been a whole lot going on because we're waiting for the first of the month and we were transferring grain, hauling grain out of the grain bin. And this is the beginning of the finish or the working towards the finish line of harvest. Beans are obviously done. We're out at the 40 at my place and dad just got started up the hill. Andrew and I came down, I had everything moved down here yesterday, got the combine calibrated, and <laughs> believe it or not, it's on the headlands, it was running 220. But it's still kind of tough yet this morning. I mean, it's, it's, there's water on everything. At least it didn't freeze last night, but I can definitely see the combine, the head, it's having some issues just pulling the stocks down through cleanly. It's hanging up. But hopefully this is a good strong finish to dad's stuff, my parents' stuff. Uh, Ryan and I are sitting at a big fat zero as far as harvest progress on corn, which is the way we meant it. Um, they're supposed to be like mid 60s today. It's been really nice the last couple days. Uh, the big thing that we're looking at is our corn, we planted longer longer day hybrids with the intentions we were going to be harvesting in November. So I had more time to dry down. Uh, this stuff is running 16.5%, 15% is dry for corn. Uh, the stuff of mine is anywhere from 20 to 25%, depending on which hybrid and which field I'm, I'm checking. I don't want to go up there until I'm sure he's going across. And the issue with that is it's 40 cents to drop from 20%. It's 40 cents in drying alone to go from 20 cents or 20% to 15%. And that doesn't include shrink. That doesn't include all the extra trucking it's going to take to haul that water. So with the warmer weather we've had the last couple days, um, theoretically it's, fifth, it's half, half a point of moisture per day when we've been getting as warm as we've been getting. So that stuff of mine and Ryan's we're hoping is in like the high teens is what we'd like to see. So we get going here. Um, I got my other GoPro with me. I'll try to film as much as I can throughout the day here and try to get you guys a video. Well, uh, fast forward to tonight, it is it's five o'clock. That field, which is just a, just a little over 40 acres, we'll have that done here in an hour maybe. And the bin is filling up nice. The corn is coming off the field dry. I'm not sure how dry. Well, I do know how dry because according to what the combine is saying, which the combine moisture is not the same as what my moisture tester is telling me. But the combine was calibrated with a a moisture tester that was actually calibrated and everything. So, um, Dad's been harvesting about 16 percent, 17 and a half on the high end. Now, everything that I check has been about a point and a half to two points higher than anything the combine is reading. And the last two loads that I've checked that I just dropped in the bin were 16 and 16 and a half. So that tells me there's a good chance that the stuff is what we consider dry. You know, 15%, 14 and a half. Still gonna put air on it, so you gotta cool it down. We got another 73, no, 53 acres down here that gotta come out after we get this field out, or this section. 
Uh, this farm is broken into three sections, technically four if you want to include the five acres across the road. That's in hay now. And we should have enough room in the bins to get all of dad's stuff, the rest of dad's stuff harvested. Um, I'm not, I guess I haven't really been figuring yield. Um, as of right now, it's running 205, which for this farm, anything over 200 is wicked awesome because it normally runs 190. And uh, the vegetative maps, the aerial vegetative maps by satellite that we've been watching, the 40 and straight back, the corn, the vegetative health on, on these two particular pieces are the best they've ever been, ever. So seeing 205 plus is expected. And I'm willing to bet it's higher than 205. Now, the reason I say that is not because I don't trust technology, is because I saw the monitor and I see that it was reading through a bunch of the waterways. So the combine was telling the monitor, which all it is, it's the head adjustment. I don't have the head set to where he picked it up enough to where it was actually telling it to quit quit recording the that it's actually harvesting. So the thing is when that happens, it takes a lot of 200, 150, 100 bushel, whatever you're harvesting corn to bring up a straight out zero on the monitor. And the waterways that he was going through, they do account for a couple acres because when I did harvest it, for I, we make the hay off of it. I was, I did it get what, like 16 bales off of it. Uh, annoying as it is um, to harvest the waterways, but even if we just leave it till the end of the season and make one cutting off of it, um, that waterway hay is actually what I'm feeding the cows right now because I know there's plenty of people that don't tune into this channel to hear me talk about the four-legged uh, money wasters. But um, I've actually been feeding the cows right here. I mean, my dad's cows, right, right here, them. Um, it's a combination of cows, calves, uh, heifers, me and a couple bulls. And I mean, dad kept 11. I think we're at 11, 11 or 12 heifers back this year. Um, first calf that had to be bred, you know, heifers. And I've been feeding them since September, the second week of September. It's a lot of hay. Absolutely a lot of hay. And I got everything above the barn is cleaned up, which I think is really nice. I'll do a video. I told you guys I was going to about the fences that Ryan and I and, and dad we did down here the place needs a bunch more work and I don't like board fence because the life of it isn't as long as I'd like to see but it came down to where it's a lot more justified to do it we dropped the five board system and went to the four board system on on them and honestly I think we're we're sitting just as good as we are with five board now if we were in a handling setup where we're you know running them through the chute and everything yeah maybe we should go ahead and then put a fifth board on it but um, the four boards are definitely gonna turn cattle and I'm I'm perfectly fine with that so as far as today goes looks like Dale is Ryan's here to take over for Dale it's Halloween and Hey, he said he would help today, and he did. Um, he's got, I think he wants to go um, back home, so he's there for the trick-or-treaters, which I can't say I blame him. Oh! Oh, my Uncle Kevin's here, too. And family operation, folks, that's what you get. But, um... Anybody that thinks I'm not really doing too good, Ryan's filming me right now, so I'm trying not to make it obvious I'm talking to myself. Um, we've been doing really good 
parked right in my way, guys. As far as just using the 76 and the 500 bushel wagon, I've been able to keep ahead of them. I think Dad and Dale only sat for total 20 minutes all day today. We've been running since 8 o'clock. It's 5 and we're probably going to run at least till dark, I'm assuming, which is in another hour. But then we, uh, good grief. Transmission's going out in the 76 for those of you that are wondering what's going on. Or I guess I haven't said anything about it, but she's going to be going in for some leg work. I'm losing all or lost all my lower end gears. Every other gear. So that's frustrating, but I got to go. So tune in for another video later on. I'm trying to film what I can when I can, but until next time, take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I'll talk to you later.